Colombian authorities said they arrested a Canadian woman at the El Dorado International Airport in Bogota on Tuesday trying to smuggle two kilograms of cocaine stashed under a fake pregnant belly prop out of the country. 28-year-old Richie Tabata Lea, a social worker, had entered the country last August 6 from Toronto. The woman was arrested after trying to board a plane back to Toronto when asked how far along in her pregnancy she was by an anti-narcotics inspector, Leia responded seven months. The inspector then touched the belly and felt that it was cold and hard, encouraging further inspection. Upon inspection, two sealed cocaine packages were found underneath the latex belly prop tied to Leia's back. According to officials, two kilograms of cocaine could fetch up to $60,000 in Canada. If convicted for drug trafficking, Leia could face up to eight years in prison. An Australian Dominic Bird could escape Malaysia's mandatory death penalty for the second time, according to his lawyer today. Bird, who is from Perth, was accused of selling 167 grams of methamphetamine to an undercover police officer in Kuala Lumpur. He was detained in March last year. The Australian was acquitted of the charges last week but re-arrested moments before boarding a plane on Monday. Bird is now remanded in custody pending a decision next Tuesday on whether to grant bail. It is a case to argue because you can see that uh, people are being subjected to a death penalty based on evidence, mostly by police officers, who we have proven uh, this is perhaps the tip of an, of an iceberg. It could be a lot more serious as to the corruption in the police. A coordinated car and suicide bomb attack on a Shiite mosque in the Iraqi capital killed at least 33 people on Wednesday. Worshippers were leaving the mosque after evening prayers when the car bomb exploded. And as onlookers rushed to help the wounded, a suicide bomber blew himself up in their midst. A further 55 people were wounded, some critically in the blasts, which took place in the northwestern Qazra district of Baghdad. And going now to Chile, violence erupted in the streets of Santiago as angry Chileans took to the streets to pay tribute to former President Salvador Allende, who was toppled in a bloody coup 40 years ago. Protesters threw patrol bombs at riot police who responded by firing water cannon and tear gas. Bonfires burned in the streets with at least one vehicle set on fire. Local media reported 68 people were arrested last night. Now Japan plans to complain about a cartoon in a French weekly newspaper showing sumo wrestlers with extra limbs linking the Fukushima nuclear crisis to the Olympics. Tokyo won the right to host the 2020 Summer Olympic Games. The cartoon carried in the satirical Le Canard and Shen shows two emaciated or emaciated sumo wrestlers, each with an extra leg or arm. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshida Suga said this sort of cartoon hurts the feelings of all those affected by the March 11 disaster and added, thanks to Fukushima, Japan is now the host of the Olympics. Suga said Japan would lodge the complaint through the French embassy in Tokyo and that the foreign ministry had been directed to explain the situation fully to avoid similar incidents.